When the cost for Skywalker is high and your wallet's looking empty, there's only one bounty hunter in this galaxy who'll get the job done. His skills are unmatched and his cash is flowing. You need a leader in the forefront who'll make sure you don't have to pay a dime. So buckle down, ladies and gentlemen, because we're going to make cash on Camino with the one and only. Well, well, well. Welcome to the party, soldier, and today's training module, Cash on Camino. I hope you're ready because I always look forward to brand new whale meat on my legion. I'm not gonna lie, today's mission is gonna be sending you through a variety of strenuous spending exercises because you don't want to end up like this guy. So buckle down and let's get to the command station for your first mission. All right, ladies and gentlemen, how's it going tonight? It is 2 a.m. in the morning here in Shy City and we are going to tackle the Cash on Camino epic confrontation event. So four tiers and the first tier we have is going to be the ship tier. Now at the time of this video, I do not have Kenobi's negotiator, but I do have Mace Windu's ship and he is complete garbanzo beans. He's not a great ship in the game overall. And as you can tell, very, very low abilities. I just barely meet the total power threshold to tackle this mission. So we're gonna go in with the hopefully a bad endurance. Hopefully it's not needed. I do have the mats if we have to upgrade, but I'd rather save it in case the malevolence comes around. They're forcing me to have Anakin in the starting lineup. And so what I'm going to do is probably throw in uh, the Umbaran Starfighter. I'm going to have Captain Rex, and then I'm going to do Clone uh, Sergeant afterwards. Plo Koon and Ahsoka Tano. I like having Clone Sergeant coming as a reinforcement because it's going to get a, a permanent taunt if you, uh, when it has protection, if you upgrade its reinforcement ability. Plo Koon for the cleanses, Ahsoka Tano for buff the spells. I have zero idea what we're getting into. So guys, this is where the fun begins. <laughs> And again, I was right. Taboka City is under attack. This was a diversion. No, no. I'm on my way. All right, my God, Anakin, you got to get some plastic surgery done or something, man. I can't look at that face. <laughs> and there we go, ladies and gentlemen. The first 50 shards for General Skywalker. I'm moving on. The tier number two. Well, let's see if this is going to be enough to take on this next mission here, man. Let's see what we got here. Oh, why can't I use this for arena? Why can't I have this many droids? This has been all too easy. Well, don't get too excited, Grievous. Define easy, General. Ah, Kenobi, it's too late. The Poker City has fallen. I beg to differ, Grievous. All right, so, all right, let's do some reading real quick and see what we got going on here. This unit can't, can't be targeted until both Jordicas have been defeated. So does that mean they can be targeted? <laughs> all right, so we can't get the Grievous until both droids have, uh, have been defeated. So that's uh, problem number one. Problem number two, Defeating this unit will remove damage immunity from all Droidicas and remove 30% of their terminus. So it seems like you got to kind of take out the Magna Guard before you can get the Droidica, but I'm sure you probably want to take out B2 before we go after Magna Guard, then Droidica, then Grievous, because the B2 is just going to get so much buff immunity in my team, it's not going to be bueno. And hopefully the B1 Battle Droid feeds me a bunch of undispellable protection up through Padme Amidala. And just for clarification, we do have the Zeta on Kenobi, Zeta on Ahsoka, double Zeta on Padme, and all, uh, all the Zetas on C-3P. I've had the C-3P for quite a while, and Shock T Zetas aren't really going to be too helpful for this lineup since we don't have clones. So let's go do this. We don't need the clones right now, so what I will do is use this ability instead, and if I target a Galactic Republic Jedi, they gain 25% tenacity for the rest of the battle. I want to get Kenobi as much tenacity as possible during the course of this battle so he does not get buff immunity. And all right, they're going to do their thing. This might take a while, ladies and gentlemen. There we go. We got the undispellable protection up. That is going to work in our favor. Let's go give this uh, translation over to... Let's give it to Kenobi. All right. Don't want to go after them just yet. Let's go get some protection up. Going to try to get as much courage stacked up as much as possible here. Let's just do an AOE right here. No sense of getting retribution up because B2 is going to dispel all this in a second. Let's get a nice little assist. He gone. All right. Looking spiffy. Now what I'll probably do is start working over on these Magna Guards. The B1 still not as threatening at the time being. Let's see if we can get a big hit. Boom. He's going to get an attack. He gone. All right. Damage immunity's down. Damage immunity's down. Let's get some work done, people. All right. Come on. Come on. Kenobi. Stick with me. Stick with me, baby. Nothing to cleanse here. So let's get some offense up on this team. Okay. We got... Oh, nice big hit from Courage right there. Kenobi taking punches for the team. Left, right, up, down. Let's get some confusion over on this dude over there. Uh, no confusion, unfortunately. Let's see if we can get a nice big hit over here with the roundhouse kick to the face. All right. That Magna Guard's going to go bye-bye. All right. Grievous stepped in the battle here. He's taking some bunches left and right. We're going to have to get rid of that taunt right there. All right. We got a window open for Droidica. Come on. 
All right, Grievous is sucking the health away at his team. Let's cleanse that target lock off of Padme. Start working on Droidica. What's this right here? This unit gains damage immunity at the end of its next turn. So we have to hurry up and get some work done. Let's do a cleanse. Uh, give this over to Padme so we can uh, cleanse her up. There we go. Good, 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 good. Too bad no clones to give the turn meter to. All right, we're going to call everyone to assist right here. Who are we going to call? Who are we going to call? Not Ghostbusters, but General Kenobi. All right, almost there. Oh, there we go. All right, we have to take out the other Droidica. Oh, boy. We need to get a cleanse in here soon. Very soon, people. Damage immunity's back up, so we have to go work down one of these uh, Magna Guards over here. We'll go after this dude. He looks prettier than the other. Get some retribution. Luckily, no B2 to mess our, uh, mess our grill up here. Come on. Take him out. He's almost done for. Give this to Kenobi. Let's build up his tenacity as much as possible. That one's going bye-bye. There we go. Look at Grievous. I think, honestly, you kind of, with Padme, it seems like you kind of want Grievous to keep taking turns because he keeps sucking the life out of all of his droids. Making him work against his own army. That's how we do it the Galactic Republic way, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get some confusion over here. Ah, that's not good. All right, at least we stopped that taunt from happening. All right, let's go work over here. Get some work done there. Oh, he's going to be gone in a second. Let's go give this tenacity over to Knopster. All right, take your turn. Let Grievous get mad. Let him get mad. Droidic is almost gone. There we go. Let's go get a big hit right here. Big Wobble! He's gone. And I think that is how the cookie is going to crumble. Let's even get everyone to assist right here. Big hit. Come on. Put him down. Put him down, baby. Put him down. Mass assist over here. We got marked up, unfortunately. We're going to have to go after this uh, droid, uh, Magna Guard right here. Get the confusion or the translation over to Kenobi. All right, he's going to be gone. Grievous isn't going to take a turn, but he will suck some life away from his B1 battle droid. Give to the tenacity to Kenobi. Keep that tenacity going here. Almost gone. And it's just us, Grievous. You're not going anywhere, buddy. Oh, what's this? Oh, gosh. This unit's enraged. That's not good. <laughs> All right, come on. Come on. Let's get some hits in here. Get some. Uh, let's get a stun. Can we stun? Can we stun? We're going to have to stun right now. There we go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Calling in a mass assist. Who needs it? Give the Canopster. Come on, put him down. Put him down. No, come on. That elusive mother flower. Well, General, it seems like your plan has failed. Ha ha ha, it was just a distraction. I'm sure Dooku's assassin has already completed her objective. Ventress, Anakin, are you there? I'm already on it, Master. My gosh, Anakin, please do so I just do something with that face. Use my face model for your face. That's the best advice I can give you. All right. So honestly, guys, I think that's the best way to go. Go after B2 first. Work on your Magna Guards. Ignore B1. You want B1 assisting and attacking out of turn because if you have that Padme Zeta on here, unique, which is a fantastic Zeta, by the way, it's just going to keep giving undispellable protection of the Kenobi. And that comes with a ton of benefits with Padme. So I think that's going to be the way to go. Definitely this uh, relic I had in gear, it seems very overkill. For this particular tier so you might be able to shoot for some lower numbers here but of course it's a good team to gear up if you want to all right so now we got a fun one this right here we have no requirements for tier number three they are going to give us the stuff we need general skywalker we're going to get our first hands on general skywalker right here general the 501st super overpowered kit as you guys know let's go hop into battle and see what we got here Ooh, Anakin, that face is ugly, but I'm excited for this. You weren't going to leave without saying hello, were you? I was beginning to think you wouldn't show the Oh, Asajj, you don't even have a rework. You're, you're worthless against me. And here I thought you knew me better than that. I'm actually just gonna use the basic right now. The basic is gonna deal, it's gonna ignore defense. And it's also going to use telekinesis, which uh, does a, a bunch of random shenanigans right here on her. Okay, all right. Oh, we got stuns. All right, all right. Oh, boy. Asajj is going to... Can I take a turn? Can I take a turn? Can I... <laughs> all right. Maybe the basic was not going to be as helpful. So how about we try something else right here? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Jeez. All right. Jeez. Okay. All right. Let's do some forest grids. Let's get some Daze's up in here. All right. A nice big hit. We got two armor shreds going right here. Okay. Nice hit. Okay. Using our basic. Get some work done. One hit. Two. Oh, there we go. Rex, Ventress is on the move and she's headed your way. You know what to do. You know what you got to do, Rex. Will hard, get hard. Yes, sir. We'll be ready. All right. All right, so I guess the trick is get armor shred and don't get stun locked. <laughs> All right, now the fourth tier, the one that I was very concerned about, Asajj Ventress. 
My Saj is bad. She has a zero reworks as I'm surprised there has not been any sort of rework for her. Mods are bad. Barely have anything on gear tool, but she just barely meets, meets the 17,500 uh, power requirement, whatever, 17,700 power requirement for her. So no Zetas. This is going to be the tier I think is going to be most challenging because uh, there's just nothing going on. Asaj has zero separatist synergy in her kit. Magna Guard Zeta, definitely not worth it. It's a uh, very, very minor. I don't know how helpful the rest is going to be. I think a B2 uh, Zeta on his unique ability is going to be very helpful. It's already a fantastic Zeta for Separatist, so hopefully we get a lot of cooldown reductions and a lot of turn meter and stuff like that. B1 Battle Droid, probably you're going to want the Zeta. It's key for a Grievous Separatist team, but uh, we'll see if it's going to be required in Droid because Zeta is not mandatory, but it is kind of helpful, I think. So let's go and see how this is going to work. We don't have nothing going on here, so I'm kind of curious to see how if this is even going to be manageable to any degree. All right, Asajj, for the final showdown. Ooh. Ooh. All right, let's... Oh, my gosh. So, we got, I have to go up against a whole 501st team with my garbage separatist team right here. You, oh, gosh. No. No. I need... I believe in you. No, 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 no. Asajj, you're worthless. Can we take him out? No. No. No! One eternity later. Come on. All right, game plan. That's a bad stun, whatever. Game plan is, Echo just used his buff to spell. I want to get this up. It helps me churn through Anakin faster when he has advanced on him. Let's get it. Let's get it, get it, get it. Who needs it? Who needs it? Let's give the Magna Guard. I'm going to get the Magna Guard for right now. I want to pick up Fives first. Echo second. Arc Trooper third. Rex fourth. And Anakin, we're going to have a showdown at the very end, let me tell you. Oh, lots of good debuffs there. All right, beautiful. That's why I want a Droidica deployed. His assist is going to be crucial. Let's even get him to get a nice big hit on five. Oh, my gosh. If we could try to take fives out with just a bunch of assists from Droidica, that'd be stupendous. Can we get a... Oh, my gosh. Come on. Oh, I don't want to use... I don't want to use uh, Droidica's middle ability on... Oh, my gosh. Yes. Yes. We're going to be able to take out fives without Droidica unlo unloading his uh, charge. Let's go. Heal up Magna Guard. Yes. Yes. Just waste your attacks on him. Yes. Stuns are gone. Stuns are gone. All right. We just got to worry about Captain Rex's aerial advantage. Asajj, you weren't very helpful. You just took a couple punches. That's all you were useful for. We still, we're still deployed. So we might be able to get a lot of good assists on Anakin here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Come on. Another assist. It's okay. It's okay. You got to take, you take your time. Assist. No. Let's heal up. Uh, Shoot. I need Magna Guard. I just need Magna Guard. I need him to stick around for a lot longer. Yes, and I can take it a nap. Okay, Rex has two more turns before aerial advantage goes off here. Let's go try to take him out. Oh my gosh. Come on. Come on. Oh my. Let's give this the. Let's give it to him. I'm taking you down, Annie. I'm taking you down. I am gonna take you down. I am gonna take you out of town. Oh boy, don't you dare. Don't you dare, baby. Let's just use the basic, come on. Oh no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Do it. Wow! Oh my gosh! Difficult event. Asajj was useless. Next to useless for this whole entire event. I swear, I'm gonna just... I'm gonna punch a Wampa. Punch an Ewok. Punch a Jawa in the face if they rework Asajj Ventures after this event. Oh my gosh! Let's unlock him, ladies and gentlemen. Let us unlock the one and only General Skywalker. Ladies and gentlemen, wow. Oh my gosh, I um, I gotta say, tough event, and I had decent droids. We'll show you the what I had in a second. Just keep in mind, it's gonna take a while to get this event done. What, what I found to be very useful was 
It's all about RNG at the end of the day, making sure you find the right RNG. You don't want to open up with the stun and dazes on Droidicum B2, just restart. Secondly, what I found to be extremely helpful is when Anakin's advancing, AK when he's taunting, deploy Droidica because he can assist over and over again, and you're gonna knock Anakin down so he covers, and then when you're working on the clones, he's gonna also assist on the clones you're attacking, so sometimes you might get Droidica to assist out of his mind, a clone of, let's say, Fives, and then he can use his middle ability, Destructive Armament, to just blow away someone, and I highly recommend taking out Echo Second because just the constant stuns that are happening over and over again are just so, so annoying. That's really the main tip. Uh, other than that, this is what we ended up using here. Relic 1 droids, Relic 5 B1, that did help. The constant assist were very helpful. And honestly, at the end of the day, this actually was super helpful. I said maybe the Zeta wasn't too necessary at first. Uh, for the grand picture of the game, it's not 100% necessary before this event. I highly, highly, highly recommend you guys get this, uh, get this get this Zeta. And it looks like we're stuck here at gear 10. Maybe some Chirotech or something holding me back here. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you had fun. Hopefully you learned uh, how to tackle this event. Even with the good droids, it's going to take some time to tackle this event. But other than that, like the video if you did enjoy it. Comment down below. Subscribe so you're not missing a thing. And I'll be sure to have some gameplay of Anakin Skywalker. How to beat him. What's he good up against in the next upcoming days. Thank you guys so much. And peace out, y'all. Yeah. Party Richter. Party Richter. Down, 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 down. Party Richter. Party Richter. Son of a bitch. Party Richter. Party Richter. Get down, down, down.